Hello, my dear kids. So I, your very own Miss Prerna, will be starting with the new chapter, Numbers and Numeration. And children, what is the topic for today? The topic for today is Numbers and Number Names. So without wasting any time, let's start with this chapter. Now, children, the first question which I want to ask you is, what are one-digit numbers? Can you think? Yes, the one-digit numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Yes, these are the single or one-digit numbers. And you know that biggest one-digit number is 9. But what will happen if you add 1 to the biggest one digit number that is 9? Think. Yes, you will get 10 which is a 2 digit number 1 and 0 10 which is a smallest 2 digit number. Then all the two digit number will start 11, 12, 13 and it will go till the biggest two digit number which is 99. So the biggest two digit number is 99. Now what will happen if you add 1 to 99? 99 is a two digit number. When you add 1 to 99, you will see that you are going to get 100, zero, zero, which is a three digit number. It is 100 and it is the smallest three digit number. Now, can you tell me which is the greatest three digit number? Think. Yes, you are right. It is 999 or 999. Nine, nine. Now children, when you add 1 to this biggest 3 digit number, what will you get? Think. Under HTO, that is hundreds, tens and ones, when you add 1, to 999, nine, you will be getting 1000, zero, 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 which is known as 1000s. Now, children, it is a four digit number. It is a smallest four digit number. And here, 2 HTO, one more place is added, that is thousands. So, under 1s it is 0, under 10s it is 0, under 100s it is 0 and under 1000s it is 1. So, we will be starting with 1000. These 4 digit numbers start with 1000. So, 1000 is the smallest 4 digit numbers. Now, let's see how to depict these 4 digit numbers on an abacus. Okay, let's see these four digit numbers, children. Now, in the abacus, there are four sticks. The first stick is at ones place. The second is at tens place. The third is at hundreds place. And the fourth is at thousands place. Now, I told you these four digit numbers start with 1000. So, let's see. 1000. How to depict this? On an abacus, there is only one in thousands place. So we are going to put one bead in thousands place. Rest the places, hundreds, tens and ones have zero. So we are not going to put any bead in this. Now let's go to the next number. Think and tell me what comes after one thousand. Oh, you are right. 1001. Very good. And how to write this number in words? 1001. Now, as you can see, 
there is one in thousands column and there is one in ones column. Hundreds and tens column have zero. So we are not going to put any bead there. So how will our abacus look? Like this. Yes. Now children, if you have an abacus at home, please do it with me. Now think and tell children what comes after 1001. Yes, you are right. 1002. And how will it be presented in words? 1002. Now try to make this number on an abacus. 1 in thousands place and 2 beads in 1's place. Hundreds and tens place will remain empty because it is 0. Now what comes after 1002? That's right, 1003. And how will it be presented in words? 1003. Now try to make it on a bacchus. One beat will come in thousands place and three beads will come in ones place. And hundreds and tens place will remain empty because the numbers in hundreds and tens place is zero. Now after 1003, let's go to 1004. Now present it on an abacus. Thousands place will have one bead and ones place will have four beads. That's right my dear children. Now let's move to other four digit numbers. Okay children, now the number which is given to you is 3214. So by now you know that 3 is in thousands place, 2 is in hundreds place, 1 is in tens place and 4 is in ones place. So how to give a name to this number? Now 3 is in thousands place. So the first two words will be 3 thousands. Then 2 hundreds. And 14. 1 4 is 14. So the name of this number will be 3214. Now try to show this number on the abacus. There are four beads in ones place, there will be one bead in tens place, there will be two beads in hundreds place and then there will be three beads in thousand place. Now let's move to the next number. Now children, try to guess this number. shown you the second abacus with the beads. Now there are three beads in ones place. There is one bead in tens place. There is zero bead in hundreds place and there are five beads in thousands place. So what will be the number? Yes, the number will be 5013. And how to give a name to this number? 5000 because there is 5 in thousands place. 0 is in hundreds place so we will not mention 100 here. And 13. So 5013 is the name of this number. Now Let's practice the number names. 
The first number given to you is 5481. So, 5 is in thousands place, 4 is in hundreds place and then 81. So, 5481. That's right. Next number is 1087. So, 1 is in thousands place, 0 is in hundreds place, so we will not mention 100 and then 87. So, 1087 is the answer. Next is 3224. 3 is in thousands place, 2 is in hundreds place and then 24. So, 3224 is the correct answer. 7796. So, 7700 and 96. Now all of you try with me children. Next number is 8400. Think and try to write the number name on your own. I am giving you two seconds here. Eight thousand four hundred is the correct answer. Next number is seven zero zero two. Now it's your time to think. Seven thousand two is the correct answer. The last one is nine. Nine, nine, nine. Think and tell me the answer. That's right. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. And this number is the largest four digit number. Now, with this, children, I have covered up the topic. Number and number names of four digit numbers. Now it is your time to write and practice. All the best.